All right, this is number five from both the A, B, and B, C exams in 2009. Um, and we're given a table of values. We're told that the function is twice differentiable. And uh, first thing we have to find is f prime of four. So that's going to be uh, four is between three and five. So we're going to use the slope of the secant line through those two points to approximate this. So it's approximately f of five minus f of three over five minus three. That's always the work that I would show to justify my response or to lead to my answer. Um, pull the values from the table, so f of 5 is negative 2, f of 3 is 4, and then divide by the 2, and we get negative 3. There are no units or anything, so uh, that's our answer. Uh, the next part, we have to evaluate this integral and show the work that leads to our answer. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break it up into two different integrals using properties of integrals. So that'll be the integral from 2 to 13 of 3 dx and then minus 5 times the integral from 2 to 13 of f prime of x dx. Um, integrating f prime of x dx is really common in these types of problems, um, and it just integrates to f of x, which is nice. Technically, there's a plus c, but um, since they're always definite integrals, it doesn't matter. Um, integrate 3 dx to get 3x, and then we'll evaluate that at 2 and 13, and then integrate f prime to get f of x, and we'll evaluate that at 2 and 13. So... Uh, 3 times 13 is 39, 2 times 3 is 6, so 39 minus 6, and then minus 5, and we'll do parentheses, f of 13 is 6, minus, and then f of 2, which is given to be uh, 1, and then we just clean this up to get 8, and uh, so that's all the work I would show. And the next question, we need a left Riemann sum to approximate this definite integral. Um, so notice I'm using the approximately equal to, and then uh, the first interval that I'm going to use is from 2 to 3, so that has a length of 1, and then the left endpoint uh, has a height of 1, so it'll be 1 times 1, plus now I'm going to go from uh, 3 to 5, and so that has a length of 2, and then the left endpoint of that interval is 4, so 4, and then I'm going to go from 5 to 8, which has a length of 3, and the left endpoint is negative 2. And then I'm going to go from 8 to 13, which has a length of 5, and the left endpoint is 3. And then we just sum all those up. So we get 1 plus 8 minus 6 plus 15, and that'll give us 18. All right. Uh, so the next question is a little strange, maybe. Um, we're given that f prime of 5 is 3, and we are told that f double prime is less than 0 on the interval from 5 to 8. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the two points. So I'm plotting, I'm plotting f of, um, 5 and f of 8, uh, not on any sort of scale, obviously. And then I'm going to draw a curve that is concave down between them, because that's what that's really telling me. Now, I know that at 5 the slope is supposed to be 3, so that's very positive. Let me draw in the secant line, because that's easy enough. And then at um, 5, the slope is supposed to be 3, so it's going to be more extreme. All right, so this is a basic picture. And you can see that the tangent line is above the curve, and the secant line is below. And uh, now we just have to, you know, write the secant line and tangent line, basically, and plug in 7. Um, so the tangent line is a uh, point-slope form. So that's y minus y0, but... You know, f of 5 is negative 2, so it becomes y plus 2 equals m, which is 3, that's given, and then x minus 5. So f of 7 using the tangent line would be approximately um, 4, which is nice because it's the value that they gave you in the problem. Um, and then we just have to justify this. So since f double prime is less than 0, we know that f is concave down. Remember, your graph cannot be your justification. You have to actually write this out. So you're just writing out what the graph shows you. F is concave down, therefore the tangent line is above the curve. And if your tangent line is above your curve, um, you get an overestimate. So F of 7 has to be less than or equal to 4, um, because that was the tangent line approximation. Um, now what we're going to do is go through the whole thing with the secant line. So I need the slope of the secant line, which will be F of 8 minus F of 5 over 8 minus 5, which is 3. Um, pull those values off of the table and we get that the slope of the secant line is 5 thirds. Now we're going to write the equation of the secant line, and that's going to be 
um, y plus 2 equals 5 thirds, and then the quantity x minus 5, evaluate that at 7, and hopefully end up with the value that they gave us in the problem. And we do, because we got 4 thirds. And now we just write up our justification for this. So since we know that f is concave down, the secant line will be below the curve, and therefore always give you an underestimate. Um, therefore, uh, f of 7 is greater than or equal to 4 thirds. Um, and that's how I would do it. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.